Tendresh, uh, would you like to shortly introduce yourself? All right. Uh, so I came to Auroville. I joined uh, two and a half years back. And at Saracon, I started working. We want to provide space for new units to start from Auroville and offer projects for newcomers and friends of Auroville to come and work at Saracon. And my personally, I my background is from science and technology, mostly chip design software. But uh, I also have interest in construction projects, in science projects. Why did you support this project? So, as part of the you know idea of an incubation center, we wanted to support uh, new technologies, new initiatives that uh, has potential to become commercial ventures, but also help uh, Auroville uh, and us in between, uh, in, the, in the interim. So we have supported uh, bamboo research, uh, solar research, software research, and so this was a project uh, for solar research we wanted to support. Uh, what do you think about the solar cooker now? Looks great, and uh, we hope that, uh, you know, soon we'll be cooking uh, food for uh, the 20 or so people that we get. I expected to be able to uh, provide uh, uh, energy for our cooking for the next uh, f at least four, five, six years. I mean, I don't know how much life this product cycle would have, but I'm hoping that, you know, at least for the next six, seven years, we can have enough energy to cook our meals and it will save us uh, in. Uh, not only money but also you know energy footprint of instead of using the LPG we'll be using natural solar energy. Uh, what benefits and which disadvantages can you see? Well the clear benefit is that uh, it's uh, we are going to use free energy from solar. Uh, we'll be saving um, cooking gas uh, and I our thing our initial calculation said that within a year or a year and a half we should be getting our return on the investment. What would you like to be improved? So right now what I I think I've already mentioned before I would like to see that we have a control to either boil a part of water through a separate tube with a steel nozzle so that the energy is not lost in a chamber when we open each time and it's much more efficient in terms of cooking either the milk or the rice. So that attachment would be very useful. Okay. Um, do you see further use of this project either here or in other places? Uh, definitely. I think, uh, you know, if, if this becomes successful, I think there are several different uh, community kitchens that will benefit from uh, using similar uh, cooking device. I mean, I can see some in ashram and also there are many communities outside who, when they visit Auroville and they see that, you know, it, it, it will definitely become helpful. Do you have any further comments? No, I really appreciate the help of uh, the students and uh, that's the civil, uh, German civil Service. servants and, uh, you know, the whole uh, way that you guys have supported and, you know, worked on it with so much energy, it's very nice. I appreciate that. Would you like to shortly introduce yourself? My name is Jo, and uh, I'm working here in Saracon doing the lunch every day. Uh, preparing lunch with an ama uh, called Akchaini, and we are both working to prepare the lunch every day at 12.30. So how many people? It should people? be uh, ready for 15 people about, average. Otherwise, sometimes 25, sometimes 30 people, but on average, it's 15 people. What do you think now about the solar cooker? The solar cooker, for me, it's something, uh, it's a new concept. Uh, and I just realized uh, for the first time I'm seeing it and I'm actually uh, experiencing it. Uh, I realized that it's a totally different way of uh, cooking. And uh, so the experience I had today with it is telling me that the solar energy is wonderful, 
but it has to be uh, understood, well understood, and well used. And at the moment, I'm a learner, but I, I, I'm really happy to learn mm. this way of cooking, of course. Uh, what did you expect when you heard that the solar cooker is coming? Uh, I was a little bit uh, shy about the concept because I, I didn't know what to expect out of it and even what it would, how it would look like or anything like that, I wouldn't have any clue. So now I'm looking at it and I say, okay, this is going to be the uh, second part of the kitchen and uh, another way to cook, another way to use things, another way to use energy, but it seems friendly to the environment. It seems like we look, uh, we are like futurists in some ways when I look at this. <laughs> It has to be a success, and I will work out for it to become really a success. Do you like to cook with it? At the moment, it's my first day, and I really love the concept. And I will learn how to cook it uh, and to have the best results out of it. And I'm sure that when I will know how to have the best results, I will love to cook with, it, with this.